Welcome to this video where we will install Comfy UI and get ourselves up and running with Stable Diffusion XL or with any other AI model for that matter. The creator of Comfy UI made it very easy to install it. Uh, actually, it is not even an install. All we have to do is download a 7-zip file and then unzip it and add a model that we can download from civitai.com. A little complication could be that you do not have 7-zip installed on your PC already. Uh, you will need that, so please Google for that and install that. Comfy UI is hosted on GitHub. A quick way to find it is simply Google for GitHub Comfy UI. Let's do that and let's click that first link over here and there we are. Uh, just scroll down a little bit and over here we find install Comfy UI and we click that and we have a direct link to a download. Let's click that and it should start a download. Yes, it does. And let's wait for that. We now have Comfy UI 7 zip downloaded and the first thing to do is move it to the folder where you want to have Comfy UI to reside. In my case, I created an AI folder, so that is where I'm going to move it. And there it is, the 7 zip file. Uh, we need to extract it now. Uh, open with 7 zip and you can extract it and I'm not going to do that because I already did that and I would not want to overwrite what I already have. I already have my Comfy UI portable folder over here. Inside that folder we find two bot files, one to run Comfy UI on a PC where you do not have a capable NVIDIA graphics card and the other where you do have a capable NVIDIA graphics card. That's what I have, so that's what I'm going to run. And it will start up, and maybe the first time it takes a bit longer than this, but this is what we should see. What we now need is a model. For that, we go to this wonderful site, Civit AI, here on the right with your filter you can select SDXL or any other uh, older types that you like and then check point. And that will give you a complete overview of everything that Civit AI has available. Just pick a model and download it. Once the checkpoint is downloaded we need to move it to the correct folder which is Comfy UI models and checkpoints. I already have a collection. Um, that is where you move this downloaded file and then it will be available. All right, so here we are in a completely default new installation of Comfy UI. Suppose I downloaded the SDXL model. I can select it here in the checkpoint box. Uh, give a positive prompt and give a negative prompt. Uh, SDXL works with a size of 1024. So let me select that default size over here for the image. And then, well, let's click. Okay, how do you pronounce it? Uh, we are now rendering, as we can see, the progress. 20 steps uh, we have selected over there. We decode the latent image to a pixel image and there we have our first image. And I can open that file, it looks like this. Well, that was quite easy. Uh, in just a couple of minutes we have all this up and running. But wait, stable diffusion, wasn't there a lot of talk about a refiner model? Yes, there is, so in the next video we will have a look at that.